You're watching Local 10, home of Local10.com. WPLG Local 10 News at Noon starts now. In other health news here this noon, as many as 15 million Americans suffer from a condition that slowly robs them of their vision. And that number is expected to double in the next 20 years. They're suffering from something called age-related macular degeneration, the number one cause of vision loss in people over 60. But there is hope. Local 10's Christy Kruger reports on a first-of-its-kind implant to help patients see clearly again. Look at the little eye chart and, and see what you're able to read. It's uh, blurry, very blurry, and I can't make out definite shapes. Nathan Bark is describing what it's like to live with age-related macular degeneration, or AMD. Yeah, could look at the other eye as well. A condition that slowly destroys the retina, and with it, central vision. Initially, there's a central blur, and then the blur becomes more intense, and eventually it drops out to the point where there's no vision at all in the central portion of the eye. So it's, uh, it's effectively a hole where they're looking, they don't see anything at all. As someone who has been with books and writing all my life, my adult life, that was a terrible catastrophe for me. For the worst of cases like Nathan's, there's now hope through a new surgical treatment called the Centrosite. The Centrosite treatment program. A telescope just about the size of a pea is implanted in one eye after removing the natural lens. The telescope implant magnifies what it captures and projects that image onto healthy areas of the retina. And this gives us the ability to assist patients who are visually impaired with macular degeneration to, to improve uh, their vision substantially. After the procedure, patients can see an improvement of anywhere from two to five lines on the vision chart. From the standpoint of seeing, seeing things in the distance, uh, faces and signs and, and things of that nature, you know, from not seeing anything to seeing, to seeing. Nathan Bark is able to read and watch TV with the aid of special glasses. He marvels at the thought of being able to see again, though, without them. That would be priceless. Students and their, their kids from, uh, I can't even conceive of that. That was Christy Kruger reporting for us. Only one eye is treated in this procedure. The other is left untouched to allow for peripheral vision. Rehabilitation and prescription glasses are necessary after surgery. And the centrosite procedure is only approved for people age 75 and older with end-stage macular degeneration.